Friday, and it's another edition of Cooking with Kernsey. So let's get it on. We should be extra healthy, right? Because it's Friday and the weekend's coming. So we should probably have some falafel and hummus to make sure that we keep that weight down for the weekend. No, 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 not at all. That's just the absolute wrong thing that we could ever make. So what are we going to do? Nachos. I love nachos. You love nachos. It's Friday. And what goes the best with nachos? Beer, of course, or some sort of alcoholic beverage. So you guys make yourself up a tasty little beverage and let's get to cooking. So we're going to need some ground beef, right? So we got to go to Franz's Butcher Shop here in Peterborough on Lansdowne Street and grab yourself their ground beef because it's better than what you can get at the grocery store. It's leaner. It's healthier for you. It's really extra good. Also, you're going to need some taco mix, huh? This has a little bit of spice to it. So we're going to throw this in with our ground beef. That's going to make it spicy when we pour it all over our top of our nachos of course i'm gonna do some bacon all right so go to franz's butcher shop and grab yourself their signature bacon you can only get it at franz's and it's the best you could ever taste i guarantee it you can put that bacon up with any other bacon and it's gonna kick it Friday, we need nachos time. the beer's only getting colder in the fridge so let's get to cooking shall we we've got our ground beef from franz's butcher shop here in peterborough on lansdowne street browning up in our pan once this is brown we're gonna throw in our taco beef mix now this is gonna add in a little bit of spice to it so we're gonna have to cool that down with a little bit of cream cheese I don't know if you guys know about this but when you make something spicy you kind of need something to offset that spice when you get that good kick in your mouth right well when you throw in a little bit of cream cheese that can cool down the spice so we're gonna make little cubes of this and hide it all throughout our nacho now of course we just need our normal toppings whatever you got in the fridge okay I went into the fridge drawer what do I got I got about a half a green pepper I got about a half a red pepper and about three quarters of a Spanish onion and what's this we got some tomatoes and some feta whatever you got in the fridge throw it on top of there i know some of you guys out there and ladies of course are just like dad where's the jalapenos where's your ghost peppers bro well you know let's get crazy you guys can make it as spicy as you want okay i gotta eat this and then go to work talk on the radio it's hard when your mouth is on fire to talk okay so and we're gonna get to cooking ground beef is now cooked and it's browned up, so I put it in a strainer in the sink to get all the grease out of it. Keep your pan hot on low. What we're going to do now is we're going to add in our taco beef mix and a cup of water. And then we're just going to let that simmer while we finish chopping up all of our vegetables. Also, don't forget, I'm going to teach you the trick to do with the cream cheese. And then we're going to throw some cheese all over this. Don't forget to get the scoops, okay? Because they scoop. You see how much cheese... And all the other goodness that you can get into that okay, scoop. Okay, so we've got our taco beef mix. We've got our ground beef that is drained. It's been about brown. We're going to throw that back into the pan. Okay, it's okay to throw a little bit of grease in there still. It's all going to cook off. Now we've got our taco beef mix we're throwing in here. Sprinkle that around. Now one cup of water will do this just fine. Now it's going to take a while to cook up, so you got lots of time to finish cooking your vegetables, preheat your oven and whatnot, okay? Remember, this is only going to take about 10 minutes. We're only going to just melt the cheese. That's pretty much all we got to do. You can make this as spicy as you want because now is where we're going to offset our spice with this cream cheese, okay? Now, I usually go with the bar of cream cheese, but they only had the no-name stuff for the cream cheese. And this is Peterborough, so we have to use the Philadelphia cream cheese. Shout out Linda Cash the angel of everybody's cream cheese so we're just going to chop this up into little cubes okay and then we're going to sprinkle that around our nacho and everybody's like you know what it's nachos it's pearlized no it's not you want to know why it's because as soon as we melt the cheese all over it it becomes a singular singular unit okay and that makes it one nacho not nachos okay so what we're going to do is just take our knife and we're going to cut this into little tiny bits cubes if you will if you can that's why i like to use the bars but this is just going to make things a whole lot messier. so the stage oh. is set the actors are prepared and now it's time to make our masterpiece it is nacho time ladies and gentlemen so it depends on what you got if you got a round pan i would go pizza pan that's my favorite thing because then you can make like a mountain of nachos or you can go with just your normal everyday baking pan i'm going with the round one okay and we are just going to get sick with this, all right? I feel that I can make a mountain of nachos when I put it in a circular pan, okay? Kind of like Richard Dreyfus did when he made those potatoes in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That's kind of what we're going here when it comes to mountainous, as I'm talking. Okay, we've got just a mixture of just marble cheese. You know, it's just your white and your orange cheddar. Everyday stuff, so just a little mixture of that. Just a light one, just to get things sticking. Now let's get crazy with this. Oh, yes. I'll just sort of mess that up. Use your ninja skills as best you can. Diced peppers, red and green, sweet onion, tomatoes, all of that just on there. Okay, not all of it. 
Not all of it. Slow down. Now what we're going to need is our beef. So you're probably going to want a spatula to just sort of shake it over top. That's what I'm going to suggest with this. Okay. Whoop. Doggy gets some. And it's spicy too. So the doggy's going to like that. And just sort of shake it over the top of this. Okay. You still got more nachos. We still got lots more cheese. We still have bacon bits to get on top of here. But you want to know where the beef is going to be before you add in the sour cream. Or the uh, cream cheese. Because what we're going to want to do is we want to offset the spiciness of the beef. Remember, we cooked this up with taco beef spice. So it does have a little bit of a kick to it. And let's just say you're hanging out with, you know, somebody, and they're just like, you know what? I can't handle the spice. The spice is a little too much. They're going to like this because we've got these little chunks of cream cheese, and these are going to offset your spice. So when it gets a little hot, then it's going to get a little cool, and then you're going to still have that little... Uh, after bite that you have when you eat something spicy okay so everything is set but i did make some bacon now i was kind of thinking does this need bacon not really it's got a lot of flavor in it does it not need bacon no so it needs bacon ah okay so we're just gonna throw that right on the top okay you could have thrown it in the middle mixture but we're just gonna throw it on the top for some flavor just because it's bacon Franz is delicious. Thick cut bacon. Again, Franz's Butcher Shop located here in fabulous Peterborough on Lansdowne Street, just by Ashburnham. Now, why not throw on some feta too, eh? A little feta goes a long way. So use a lot of feta. Just throw it on the top. That's the spice. Up. You can do that with anything you want. You can do it with parmesan, I guess, if you want. But I find the feta adds in that nice little texture smell everything makes it good how dare you try to get away bacon bit how dare you okay little treat for the dog puppy come here come here you want some taco beef there you, you can throw beef. jalapenos on there you could throw ghost peppers whatever you want all of us would go well on this as well i just went to my fridge and just went with anything that i had in the vegetable drawer so let's get real close up into that side. You see how good that's going to be? We're going to throw this in the oven for like 10, 12 minutes, and it's just going to melt the cheese and crisp up the beef, but everything's cooked and we're good to go. Oh, yeah, don't forget, we did throw some bacon in there. Suey, bacon. This is our taco dog. nacho. Franz's ground beef that was browned up with taco beef mixture to make it a little bit spicy. Some red pepper, some green pepper, some onions, some tomatoes, but then also some feta cheese and then a marble mixture of your orange and white cheddar cheeses. Don't forget about the bacon in there. And we threw in the cream cheese to offset the spice of the taco beef. Now it's time to get the eating of this. You can use sour cream on it. You can use salsa. I'd be insulted if you use salsa. So please just dip it in sour cream. This is going to be delicious. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Cooking with Currency. We'll be back on Monday.